Today we're going to talk about a question I get a lot, and that's, what is load shedding? Now, I get a lot of customers that say load shredding or different terms, but that's incorrect. It's actually load shedding, or you may see it be called load management or AC shedding. Um, really what they're talking about is giving the generator the capability to shut down a particular item. So, for example, uh, you could use it for an AC unit. Uh, some people want it for a hot water heater if it's a larger load. Uh, some people use it for pool pumps. But there's a lot of different applications it can be used in. And really the whole point of it is so that you're not overloading that generator. So it gives you the opportunity to possibly buy a smaller generator that's going to do the same job. So if I you know, am in a price range of maybe not wanting to go too high and you know I, it's, I can't do a 20 kW generator maybe with load shedding I could possibly do a you know 12 kW or 16 or a smaller generator that might be in my price range so why do you want load shedding well even if you don't need it maybe if, even if you buy a large generator that's enough to power your entire home sometimes it's just a good choice to use load shedding uh, just to give the generator a little bit of a break. Uh, I know a lot of people are like, well, if I'm not home, I'm not going to turn something on or this and that. But you're also, if you're not home, you're not there to turn off the AC. You know, they say, oh, I'm not going to use my air conditioning. Well, that's fine, but you're not there to actually shut it down. And this is giving that generator the capability to shut that down without your help. So, all brands have their own way of uh, going about this. Um, they use load management modules. So what a load management module is, is basically it's an on-off switch, if you will. There's a little bit more smarts to it than just being an on-off switch. But with them, uh, you just tie it into a specific circuit and it will shut that off. So the example I like to use with a lot of customers is, you know, if I have a hot tub, obviously when... The power's out, I'm not going and jumping in the hot tub. So it's a good idea to be able to manage that load so that I can have other more pertinent items on during that time period. So what you do is you connect one of these in directly to a specific circuit. And if that were to come on under generator power, then it would be able to shut it down. Um, and again, you can use this with pretty much any circuit, but only up to 50 amps. Um, that's kind of the uh, one restriction with most of these. I do believe Generac is planning to come out with a 100 amp version, uh, but that's not yet available. Um, another thing to look into is uh, different brands have different ways of communicating between the uh, module and the transfer switch, um, whether it's wired or wireless. Um, two brands, uh, Briggs and Generac, are wireless modules. Uh, Kohler still uses a low voltage 24 volt wire between the module and the transfer switch. Uh, another term that you're going to see uh, is called AC shedding. Now, essentially, this is the same exact thing, but it's just specific to air conditioning or HVAC. Now, the reason it is specific is because you, instead of having to use one of those modules, they have circuit boards built into the transfer switch that's using that low voltage wire. And essentially all you're doing is interrupting the signal between the transfer switch, or I should say with the transfer switch, but between your thermostat and whether it be your air handler or your outdoor unit. Um, so it usually connects into the Y wire. And then once it sees that signal, if it doesn't have enough power to run that AC unit, it will have the ability to, to delay the startup or even shut it down. Uh, one thing that is nice about the AC shedding, because you're not using a module, um, there's no amperage limit. So if I've got geothermal pumps or you know a, a large uh, heat pump, you're not going to be affected if that is you know in the 60 or even 80 amp range uh, for that circuit. It's going to be a lot of power to pull, but uh, luckily these can handle it. So if you have any other questions on these or any other products that you, we have on our site, please let us know and we'd be happy to help you.